Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a video I have been very excited to make for a while now. There is something I have been keeping from you and I can finally share it with you today. I know I've kind of like been teasing it for the last few weeks slash month. So I decided to ask on Instagram what you guys thought the announcement was going to be. I'm going to share with you a few of the guesses before we get into what it actually is because, you know, there's some interesting ones there. Um, we'll just get into it. So the first one is maybe going to work in Florida. No, I am not going to work in Florida. I feel like it's is going to be like a bunch of disappointment leading up to the announcement but i promise it's worth it no i am not going to work in florida i currently work at disney plus here in the uk in their hammersmith office and i love it it's coming up to my one year anniversary actually which is kind of crazy i still remember so vividly my first day there being so nervous and now it just feels like second nature walking in every day seeing that silver mickey mouse passing through kind of like the blue portal of like all of our brands to the lifts like it's just normal which is kind of crazy but still definitely plenty of pinch me moments the year has not been without its struggles i will say that but no i am not going to work in florida i hope to be at disney plus for a while yet i think people still hold out hope potentially that i'm going to do another program someone did mention another disney program and obviously maybe going to work in florida no i am not doing either of those things contrary to popular belief i am 27 years old and i know people do do programs well into their late 20s early 30s but for me I've just kind of moved beyond that stage in my life it was actually five years ago I did my last program I did two Disney college programs during the summers but yeah five years is a long time and I've been back in London ever since growing my career in the copywriting field that's what I do if I didn't mention it before I'm a copywriter for Disney plus not that I'd be like giving up well, I kind of would be giving up that to go work there but also it's just not my career field I don't want to work in hospitality so there's just no sense in me doing another program definitely wouldn't rule out potentially working abroad someday whether that was like florida or burbank one of those areas for the company but i'm just past the stage of disney programs and internships and all that okay the next one a disneyland california trip well i am wearing this t-shirt today. I went to Disneyland California last year with my best friend Ruth. It was a much anticipated trip that had been moved multiple times due to the panini and when we finally did it it was so incredible it was so worth it. It was just the most magical three days. I just couldn't fault it. The whole thing was so perfect. I actually watched those vlogs back quite a lot. I very rarely watch my own videos. I kind of edit them, upload them, see them once through and then that's it. But those ones I genuinely do turn to when I need a bit of a comfort and a cheer up because it was just so magical. So yes, I do want to go back to Disneyland potential for next year. I don't know. I would love to be able to make that happen, but that is not in any way booked or in the calendar or anything like that. It's just a dream at this point. But if you dream a thing more than once, it's sure to come true, right? Whatever the quote is. No Disneyland California trip. Then we had a couple people say Disney Cruise. I do have a Disney Cruise booked. I feel like I have mentioned it before. That is not this announcement, but I do have a cruise booked for later this year. So maybe I haven't mentioned that. I feel like I have. We'll see, but uh, cruise vlogs will be coming in September time, I think. Okay, now some people have said Emily merch, maybe merch, a merchandise line, possibly Amos Emily merchandise line. No, that's absolutely not happening. Back in 2020, I did release a limited edition, not limited edition, limited time Christmas clothing collection with a small shop, which was such a dream come true. I loved doing it, helping with the design, seeing you guys wearing the clothing was so cool. Then I also released around that time and for the next year a bunch of prints through Etsy which was again such an amazing project to be a part of. I worked with a designer called Rachel to the channel I'll link it down below and that was so fun but again it was like a pandemic project it wasn't something I saw like going long term and even now I kind of am like that was quite ballsy like as if I thought that I could actually sell and create merch in some way it wasn't like the prints definitely weren't merch and none of it said like my name on it or anything but it was still like a product i was putting out and people bought it around the world which i still find crazy because my platform was smaller than it is now and i still think of myself as being absolutely insignificant in this youtube disney space so yeah i i'm still a bit surprised i even did that but clearly it you know it paid off but no there is no merchandise line coming definitely not something i ever anticipate doing in the future so that is a flat out no <laughs> sorry if that's disappointing i feel like it won't really yeah it's it just it's like unfathomable to me to be honest okay we have a bunch 
As I'm guessing about my job status. So we're gonna read through these. You're full-time with Disney Plus instead of freelance. Promotion at Disney. You're now a full-time employee at Disney Plus. Tell me you've got a permanent role at Disney Plus. Guessing work-related and Disney. New role slash promotion at Disney. So let's go over really quickly my work status. I am a freelance with Disney, which means I am a contracted employee. I started with them at the end of June last year on a six month contract. And then that got extended by another three months. Then at the end of March, I got another three months on that and then a couple weeks ago it got extended again through to the end of September and I'm absolutely fine with that. When I originally interviewed for the job I did not know it was a freelance position and it kind of freaked me out and I was like I'm not ready to go freelance right now but then they explained to me it was a more like a permalance role in the freelance in the nature of the contract and the pay. Obviously I don't get Disney benefits, I don't get park access or discounts or any of that, but it's like permalance in the way of they're gonna need those roles and it's like an ongoing thing. The girl I took over from had been there for two years, so it's not freelance in the sense of like, oh, we'll need you this week, we're not gonna need you next week. So there is more of a security element to that, which I had to like wrap my head around. When I originally started, I was so set on wanting to get a permanent role and it did come up at the end of last year as an option. And I just decided for me, it wasn't what I wanted to do at that time. There was various limitations and drawbacks to going permanent under there's like the same thing for freelance, but I am still happy with the decision I've made. You do get paid more as a freelance, which is definitely one of the major things for me. Once you get used to having a certain salary, you don't necessarily want to like cut back. You get used to, you know, being able to afford certain things and I am saving for other things down the line. So no, I am not a permanent employee, but like I said, I'm coming up to one year with Disney and they don't treat us within the team any differently, permanent versus permalance. We're all just like one big team. It's a really great work environment and I am still the only copywriter. So although my role is a freelance role, it's definitely a role that is necessary. No one else does what I do, which is a lot of pressure, but also really cool. Like I have ownership over the copy for the EMEA region, which is Europe, Middle East and Africa. Yeah, just to, you know, reiterate, I am not permanent and I didn't get a promotion. I'm just staying on as I am, coming up to that one year mark. Obviously being freelance me, they don't get the one year pin, which is sad. I'm currently on like day zero. None of the days I've ever done for Disney count towards my longevity with the company. I don't know because programs don't count, freelance doesn't count. So yeah, currently I'm just, I'm at zero. I don't feel like I'm ever gonna get one of those like big statues or anything like that that people get when they get to 10 years. I'm just rolling along as I am, but still having a great time. Wow, a couple of these I did not expect. Do I even say this? People have said engagement, engaged. <laughs> They're just like engaged, a ring, no. No, absolutely not. Me and Sam have been together for a year and a half. For some people that might be a long time and plenty of time. I still feel like I'm very new in the relationship. We've known each other for a long time, but, um, that's absolutely not something that's happening. That is actually quite funny to me. Also, I don't know why I'd big up something like that on YouTube and be like, oh, big announcement coming soon. Like, no, that's just, that's just not something I'm gonna do. Am I even gonna include this? I don't know. Yeah, that's just really flustered me. <laughs> Most of the other ones just say Disney trip booked, which is quite an obvious one. We have a couple that say like Walt Disney World PR trip, sponsored trip to Disney. So I guess now it's time <laughs> to announce the big news. I will be going to Disneyland Paris at the end of July with attractiontickets.com, which is so exciting and absolute dream come true. I did go to Disneyland Paris back in February this year with my lovely mum and we are going back together I, as soon as I found out about this trip opportunity, I knew I wanted to take her again and just have another magical, magical time. But yes, with attractiontickets.com, it's kind of crazy. I have worked with them a few times now, as you guys may remember. I collabed with them on my Disneyland California trip for the tickets. We also went to Thought Park and then for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. They sorted out my tickets for all of those, but this is more like the trip in general. We will be staying at the Newport Bay Club for two nights from Friday to Sunday at the end of July. We'll be going to the parks for all three days. Attraction tickets do have packages which are competitive to the prices you'll find on the Disney website and they'll sort everything out for you from beginning to end. It is such a stress-free process. They have amazing booking agents that will answer any questions that you have and they're just the loveliest team. When you book a Disneyland Paris package through attractiontickets.com you can get up to 50 euros in spending money on a Disney gift card which is just so cool for getting merchandise, picking up some fun souvenirs. You also get up to a year of Disney Plus on them which obviously I'm a huge advocate for. And you get up to 10 free prints from your holiday. And as someone who is always taking photos, I feel like I forget sometimes to print them out and have them around me. But that is actually a really special thing to get to do and just bring the magic and the memory 
moved back home in a really tangible way. So all of that can come in an attractiontickets.com package. It is still just like crazy to me that this is even happening. I remember back on my Disney college program, I would wake up every morning and watch Jade Billington's Walt Disney World vlogs. I loved her at the time, her Disney series, and she was sponsored by Attraction Tickets and like every video was like, oh, this trip is with attractiontickets.com. I just remember hearing that over and over again and be like, wow, that would be so cool to someday work with like a ticket provider, a company like that. And also my family did use them in the past when I was younger, pre me getting involved in anything Disney related. When we would go on trips abroad, things like when we went to New York, we would use them. They can sort you out for all kinds of tickets, whether it is Disney, Universal, UK based theme parks. I'm just looking on the website now, you can get tickets for various things in Los Angeles, like the Warner Bros Studio Tour, Legoland. In Paris, they can do not just your Disneyland trip, but also Palace of Versailles, Moulin Rouge, Skip the Line Eiffel Tower ticket. In Spain, you've got Ferrari Land, Pieta Ventura theme park, things in Barcelona, Madrid, Tenerife. And then across the UK as well, they've got Alton Towers, Legoland, Thought Park, Chessington. They have really got you covered when it comes to tickets if you're based in the UK. And I could not recommend them enough. So, yeah, that is the big news. I'm so, so excited. Please let me know if there's anything you guys want to see from these vlogs in particular. I know I was just there in February, but this is the summertime. It is the 30th anniversary grand finale, so we'll see if anything has changed with that. I know there is a new Pixar show. Obviously, there is a new Luca-themed restaurant, which Luca is my favorite Pixar movie of all time. Obviously, I'm gonna go check that out. Any snacks you want me to review, you wanna see some merch, some shows, some characters, just let me know. Anything you want to see, this trip is as much yours as it is mine. And it's because of you guys watching my videos and following along that I'm able to even go on this trip and partner with attractiontickets.com. It is just so cool and so crazy. I'll be sharing lots on Instagram as well, as you know. And yeah, I just, I'm so excited. If you're thinking of booking a Disney trip or any other kind of ticketed trip, please check out my link down below and book through attractiontickets.com. Thank you to them again for continuing this partnership. It's just so awesome because I feel like it's great to work with the company once, but being able to work with them across a period of, we're talking like a year and a half at this point. That's just really special to me to be able to like continue that and maintain it, to share with you guys a company that I passionately believe in and think is really, really cool. That is all for now. Obviously it is still over a month away until I go, but the excitement has been building. I feel like this year has not been the easiest. There has been a bunch of setbacks and things that have really been tough, but having a Disney trip to look forward to always helps. I'm not gonna go into it more than that right now because this is a happy video. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up like I said, comment down below any suggestions or things you would like to see. Subscribe for all the fun and magic to come and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>